Good morning. This is Lachey Singletary. I'm reporting from Friendship News Network. I'm standing here with mayoral candidate Linda Kropp at a construction site on L Street. How are you this morning? I'm fine, Lachey. How are you? Fine. Great. Okay. As a class, we came up with five issues that are important to us young people and would like to know your vision on these issues with the hope to see part policies implemented regarding the following issues, employment, environment, crime, gentrification, and cigarette tax. For example, on the issue of employment, what is your vision for the minimum wage and how do you plan to provide better job opportunities for D.C. residents? Well, today I announced my job opportunity initiative that would uh, provide better training programs for our workers, that would enable uh, expansion in daycare opportunities so mothers will be able to get out to work, to improve literacy uh, for our residents so that they would have the skills to apply and take the test uh, for a job, and to expand vocational training and apprenticeship training program so that our residents will have marketable skills such as electricians and and carpenters and plumbers who get paid uh, really good jobs. Uh, in addition, so that uh, educational programs are such that for those who want to go on to college will have the skills necessary to be successful. Okay. Um, would that be accessible to all DC residents? Uh, yes, it would be. Certainly the vocational um, and apprenticeship programs, we want them to be accessible to all D.C. residents uh, so that they will be able to get um, a marketable skill uh, and a trade that they can use uh, throughout their life. And also for the educational program, we want uh, our high schools to graduate students who are ready for a clear choice of going into the world of work or going on to higher education uh, in a college or university setting. On the issue of employment, no, in the reference of our environment, how would you maintain a clean and safe environment for D.C., especially cleaning the Anacostia River and getting rid of homelessness? We have a comprehensive uh, housing task force uh, program that I help to fund. Uh, they have recommendations, and in that recommendation, it would have 55,000 more housing units for individuals in the city. For homelessness, uh, part of it is to help them with some, the mental health uh, needs uh, that they may have to get treatment for that, a support for that, uh, and also for us to have more single room occupancies uh, for uh, individuals where they would have a single room for themselves personally and then have a group environment in the living room. But we also are seeing uh, an explosion of more families who are homeless and uh, it will provide us an opportunity also for us to develop programs uh, around that. On the issue of crime, how would you deal with gangs, especially the increase in female gangs in D.C., black-on-black -black crime, and corrupt police in our neighborhoods? There's no doubt that uh, gang-related uh, activities is really harmful, and we should discourage it. We need to prevent it. And we can do that by having community-based organizations to help the city. Uh, there are a lot of uh, young uh, group-led organizations who go out and talk to our young people and give them a sense of hope and let them know that they're loved and that there are other things that they can do outside of joining gangs. Uh, they don't have to be accepted only in a gang. They can be accepted by doing some other activities and we need to provide those activities and opportunities for our young folks. Gentrification is very evident in the new DC. Some may say that the development of our city has experienced is good while others may say that the district residents have been left behind in process. How would you provide affordable housing for low to moderate income families and individuals? And in what parts of D.C. will these housing opportunities be provided? You know, we should have affordable housing for people who grew up in the city and people who work in the city. They should all be able to live in this city. D.C. is big enough for everyone to come in. Uh, I have specific programs. My website, lindacropvermeer.com, has a multi-step program where I show different steps for affordable housing. For example, the district government has land that we turn over for residential use. We can just say, if we're giving you this land to develop for housing, there's going to be a certain number 
of the housing units on there that must be for affordable. And when I say affordable, people who make anywhere from $18,000 to $80,000 should be able to afford a house. And that's the type of program we're going to have in a crop administration to let people who work in the city also be able to live in the city. Okay. And one more question. As mayor of D.C., would you consider raising cigarette taxes to develop social service programs? If yes, what type of programs would they be? Um, one of the things that I'm looking at doing is running a more efficient government so that we can save money uh, in our government. And I'm bringing about supporting uh, development opportunities and growth opportunities in businesses and with more residents. And in doing that, that will bring in more money. And using those dollars, we can then expand programs that we have in need. I am not necessarily in favor of increasing uh, taxes. So in order to raise a tax, I really got to make sure that that is the only way that we can bring more money in. I would rather run a more efficient government and bring in more revenue rather than to increase taxes on residents in the District of Columbia. Okay. Thank you for Thank your time. Thank you, Ms. John. Good job. You are cool. Thank you. This has been Lachey Singletary reporting from Friendship News Network.